Hi Sanam, good evening. Yeah, hi sir, good evening. How are you? Uh, wonderful Sanam. So our today's interaction is going to be very very cool, uh, informative for students because uh, yes, when it comes to Europe, uh, it is not one country. Uh, Sanam, it is a continent. And uh, there are so many very good destinations for Indian students. We call Scandinavian countries, uh, Germany, Italy, Spain, Belgium, so many countries, right? And yes. Indian students are joining the top universities in these countries. Now, many yes, students ask me a very pertinent question, a very valid question that, uh, uh, sir, what is the salary in PhD? Uh, because PhD is a job in Europe. So they ask, what is the salary in PhD? And uh, what will be the, our, our living expenditure there, uh, expenses uh, in, in those countries, so that we can at least get an idea like, uh, can we survive and can we save some money over there uh, or not? Because when it comes to PhD uh, things, then uh, salary, yes, that is scholarship you are getting and expenditure kitna hai. Exactly. So very quickly, I want to take your uh, you know uh, input on that. So different countries which Indian students go, and what is the salary and what is the expenditure, if you can tell us that. Okay, sir. Um, so firstly, I'll tell you there's a lot dif lot of difference, uh, just like the US. They they also have uh, like rural uh, campuses, urban campuses, depending on which they distribute salary, right? Yeah. Same way, yeah. uh, a PhD in Europe also draws similar uh, salaries across the continent. So when it comes to, for example, Italy, Italy is a very nice destination. I mean, people go for their um, vacations and everything. Even from Europe, they go to vacations for uh, vacations to Italy. But the thing is, um, by the time this um, it, living in Italy has gone very expensive. On contrary, uh, you just get bare minimum salary there, which uh, which usually is not very uh, sufficient for even one person sometimes. So that's why uh, I think you should try to go for a country where not only you, but your spouse can also um, go with. Mm -hmm. For example, countries like Norway, Sweden, Finland, Denmark, Germany, even Germany also. Mm -hmm. um, so if I talk about country-wise distribution, then uh, starting from Norway, Sweden, Finland, Denmark, they all share a similar salary structure and a person almost draws uh, like uh, 3,000 to 4,000 euros. But uh, on contrary, in Italy, it, it uh, goes as low as 1,200, 1,300 euros. And uh, rent sometimes goes for 700, 800 euros per month, right? So it's kind of a very difficult situation when it comes to uh, salary structure all over Europe. Second thing is, uh, when we say about quality of education as well, then uh, Italy has uh, very nice institutions. Uh, they have very uh, top 100 qs ranked universities as well. Because if you do PhD from Italy, then you can do postdoc from anywhere in the world. That's a saying here in Europe. But uh, mm -hmm. but on contrary, Europe mm -hmm. uh, is vast, right? Northwest mm -hmm. Europe also has very nice, uh, very nice universities. And when it mm -hmm. comes to PhD, you should rather think of professors not not very much restricted for QS rank. For example, mm -hmm. if a person is getting PhD in NTNU, uh, my suggestion mm -hmm. is go for NTNU PhD compared with Polymy Italy, mm -hmm. considering all these factors. Polymy has mm -hmm. almost 111 rank, but uh, mm -hmm. NTNU has 300, 345 rank. However, mm -hmm. they have a lot more funding available. They have a lot more quality of life. You can think of staying mm -hmm. in that country, etc., etc. So QS mm -hmm. rank is not everything. Uh, mm -hmm. You should also see salary. Along with that, you should see quality of life and what all you can bring along with you. Uh, mm -hmm. For example, if you want to bring your family, if you mm -hmm. want to save some money, then these countries mm -hmm. are much better. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so uh, I'll ask you uh, quickly one or two things which normally students keep on asking me here. Uh, yes, Germany. Uh, Germany is a favorite destination for Indian students. Yeah, so do you exactly. think Germany offers good salaries and lesser living expen expenses and has uh, maybe good quality of life? Okay, quality of life, unbeatable, Germany. Very nice. Mm -hmm. But uh, living expense, again, very high. Uh, mm -hmm. On contrary, the salary you get is kind of low because you will uh, you will get uh, and at the end you will have nothing after spending uh, salary that you get in Germany and it's still a stipend in Germany, not a salary. So when it says as as a stipend, then uh, there are different clauses attached with stipend. However, if it is a salary, then you are actually contributing to pension, what not. I mean, it, your future is getting secured in that country. So that's why it's kind of uh, uh, important to think in that sense as well. I mean, everyone can study. It's not a big deal. But along with study and education, you should also think like that.
so uh, you were giving some kind of comparative analysis sanyam so in euros term when we talk about germany how much uh, in it's in, uh, uh, yeah it again depends on uh, region to region for example yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Munich is very expensive. So they draws thirty five hundred to three uh, thousand to thirty five hundred. But for mm-hmm. some uh, rural campuses, it might go to two twenty five hundred to three thousand as well. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, students should also be aware of those uh, situations where, um, for example, Germany has started some PhD positions. Like they mm-hmm. they they what they say is sixty percent salary of an year we will give you, and forty percent mm-hmm. you have to search from somewhere else, which is a part time. Mm-hmm. So don't fall in such traps. Rather go for hundred percent fully funded PhD positions in Germany. Okay, so when we talk about Scandinavian countries, Norway, Sweden, Denmark. So uh, as per the discussion we had, as per that, I, what I understand is like these countries offer very good quality of life and also very yeah. good salary and living expenses may not be very high also. Am I correct in that? Uh, uh, no, sir. Uh, living expenses are also very high no, along okay. with that. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. you actually stay happy after paying a lot more uh, for mm-hmm. the living ex- expenses. Basically, living expenses includes your tax as well, right? You pay. You are paying mm-hmm. tax a high, so, a lot more tax. Yeah. So, so you stay happy any after ideal paying destination? that. Sanam, is there any ideal destination then? High salary, low living expenses, uh-huh. very good quality of life. Is there something like that? Sir, uh, rural campuses of Scandinavia. For sure, uh-huh. if you are in a rural campus of Scandinavia, you will save lot more money after uh-huh. uh, even after paying lot more taxes and everything. Okay. I have so, been so to rural campus before. Yeah, Scandinavia, yeah. make it more clear. Yeah. Okay, uh, rural campus of Norway, for example, um, colleges like uh, let's say uh, Agder University. Like NTNU, NTNU is a nice destination. However, NTNU has uh, started, uh, like, uh, people are now adapted, right? They have started charging high rent rent as well now, since they know students are coming to NTNU. But uh, mm. it's a trade-off, sir, I mean. Mm. So, can, is there some, some university or some campus is coming to your mind when you're saying rural campus of Scandinavian countries? Yes, sir, I can name a few. For yeah. example, uh, in Denmark, I can name, uh, so there's a South Denmark University. It's a nice university as well as it's a uh, like semi-urban campus. Then mm. there's a uh, Ro- Roskilde University in Denmark. Then Aalborg University, where mm. our student is already there. Then mm. uh, then I I can say Tromso University of Tromso. Uh, Tromso mm. is that uh, like far north North Pole. It's almost near to North Pole, but it's it's mm. I have been there and it's a very nice place. Uh, okay. Then from Sweden I can say uh, Lund University. It's a it's a student. City mm-hmm. loaned, mm-hmm. so it's mm-hmm. a nice university. You, you get mm-hmm. more money, and you don't need mm-hmm. to pay a lot of rent there as well. Mm-hmm. So these are some good universities. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. So I think the students should consider it because you know what happens is students have heard some names like Munich, Technical University of Munich, no doubt. B Milano, I think Milano University, Polytechnic, yeah. Polytechnic, B Milano. Yeah. So those names students have heard, and uh, no doubt they are the best university. But at the same time, as you said in the beginning, there are other parameters, other factors also they have to consider. And exactly. these kind of hidden uh, best opportunities, they are not aware. So yeah. certainly, uh, I think the discussion which we had will uh, provide some uh, kind of uh, perspective to the students. And uh, uh, also, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, that uh, when you think of uh, some universities which people are not much crazy about, though they are very good, competition may also be less and the probability exactly. of you getting it. Exactly. Higher. Yeah, I was coming to the same point. Yes, sir. It's very easy to get into those universities as well. Yeah. Yeah. You know, wonderful, uh, yes, Anam, that gives us an idea as mentor also to suggest students such opportunities so that, yes. you know, uh, those uh, who are uh, not having very high credentials may think, uh, you know, uh, also get the opportunities in these universities. So, so just for means, an advertisement, yeah. uh, I wanted mm-hmm. to mention our student. Um, he was selected for a university in Sweden. It's a, okay. it's kind of a, a university in a 50,000 population uh, city. It's it's mm-hmm. kind of very small town when it compared mm-hmm. with India. And uh, mm-hmm. he's like kind of enjoying his uh, PhD there. I mean, uh, I am in a conversation with him and mm-hmm. uh, he's in Sweden. Uh, he is in uh, Swedish University of Life Sciences. So okay. the people have not heard of this university. I bet mm-hmm. many people have not heard. But uh, mm-hmm. he's enjoying his life. He's getting the same salary as a person in Got- Gothenburg or Stockholm would draw. And he's mm-hmm. saving a lot more money by paying less rent. And... Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, living happily basically 
wonderful wonderful yeah so look sanam so that brings us to an end of this uh, you know session wonderful session and most interactive session and i request yeah. you to uh, provide these kind of perspectives every week to indian students here back home so that they yeah. get opportunities and they explore the opportunities thank yes, you sir. sanam thank you sir bye bye